Hi guys, welcome back. Jolly July day 10. Wow, this month's going pretty quick, isn't it? He back. Right, okay, so yesterday um, the spinner chose the Christmas gnomes. Such an adorable picture. So I started working down here in this corner um, and I've sort of come across a little bit and up a little bit as well just to use up some of my threads. Um, <clears throat> so what did we do? So we have put in a lot of threads down here. Now, believe it or not, there is five or six different shades of grey in that. <laughs> you can see from the back how much I've done. You can't really work it out from the front, but you can definitely see from the back. And then I've just worked a little bit here, adding in this colour. So... Oh gosh, I'm oh, sorry folks. Um, so that's what we got done on the Christmas gnomes. I've had to put it in a bag because the crinkly bag that it was in um, was kind of falling apart and it wasn't sticky anymore and I thought, well, I'll just put it in a bag. So that's the Christmas gnomes. So we need to do another spin for today. And see what it is we're going to be working on. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, come on. Sorry, guys, it's taking forever to load. Okay, here we go. Jolly July. Right then, so three, two, one. Christmas house. Okay, so I'll get that set up and we will uh, work on the Christmas house again. Okay, be back in a minute, folks. Okay, folks, I am back. Um, just for those that don't remember, this is Christmas House. So, um, I'm working down here in this area. So, I am using colour number 3743 and... We are going to be working on the pink symbol here. Okay. Let's go. There we are. So, how is everybody? Hope everybody had a lovely weekend. Uh, what did you all get up to? Anything good? Um, we had thunderstorms here over the weekend. Um, in fact, yesterday at about four o'clock, uh, just as I was about to sort of cook the tea, um, we had, there was a big thunderstorm. It was very loud. Um, and unfortunately... Uh, the power went off so I don't know what the lightning sorry I've got a bit of a I'm not going on and there we go uh, I don't know what the lightning hit or whatever but whatever it was it the power went off for a huge area of the town um, 
So yeah, uh, tea was put on hold for a short while until that came back on. It wasn't off for very long, but uh, yeah. So it's it's rainy here today. It's still pretty warm to be fair, um, but it is raining. Sort of showers on and off, raining. So we won't be going anywhere or doing anything. Um, not been able to take the dogs out yet today because of the rain. I don't want to get caught in it um, because Millie's double coated. Um, so I don't really want her getting wet and um, Poppy doesn't act doesn't have fur her coat is actually hair so we have to make sure that hers is completely dry down to the skin otherwise she can end up with skin problems so yeah it's not a good idea for either of the doggos to be out in the rain so um let's see what it's like later on to take them But uh, yes, yeah, like I say, it's still pretty warm. I'm still sat here in shorts and a vest top because it is warm still. <clears throat> so yeah, when the power came back on yesterday, I did cook a curry for the kids for tea. There's never ever, there's never enough for me to have it as well because my son loves it, loves my curry, so. Um, whatever's left he tends to have the next day or sort of later on in the evening so I did that for the kids um, and they enjoyed that oh sorry I got an itchy eye um, so yeah I did that uh, not a whole heap of much else to be fair stitched um, I spoke to my parents, they're, they're having a lovely time so far, so that's good. They deserve it. So yeah, it uh, wasn't an all round fun day yesterday. Although the dogs did get uh, two walks yesterday. I did take them out sort of lunchtime and um, me and my daughter took them out in the evening for a, a wander so they got two walks yesterday um, so not having a walk isn't going to cause them a problem uh, so yeah Ooh. having all sorts of problems today with this so yeah yesterday when I was working on the Christmas gnomes um, the thread in that kit is absolutely amazing it was you know they were all pretty thick um, soft and they just lay right and it, it was a joy to work on yesterday it really was. Um, I wanted to try and get to something with a little bit more colour, but unfortunately, <laughs> with it being a Christmas scene, there's a lot of greys and uh, whites, so I don't know what I've done there. I've gone over two stitches. Silly woman. So I might have to uh, unthread my needle if I can't pull this through. I hate it when I do this. Right, oh, sorry folks, just one sec. Pull that out of the needle. 
pull that out of there. Make sure it's all right. And then we'll re-thread the needle. Oh dear. I'm sorry folks for yawning, but um I didn't actually sleep at all last night. Um I kind of fell asleep. Wasn't wasn't even really falling asleep. I sort of drifted off um, at five to seven this morning, which is not good because um, you know my son leaves um, for school at twenty to eight. So um, yeah, he came in at like twenty past and was like, "Mom," I was like, "Sorry, mate." Totally just nodded off there for a minute. Um, so I got up and made sure he got off to school okay and that he had everything he needed. Um, and then I went back to bed. Uh, went back, I went to sleep at probably about half past eight, quarter to nine. So yeah, the, the not sleeping is, is, is awful. It's, it's getting me down a little bit now. I just want to have a really good night's sleep but even when I go to bed early and I don't stitch uh, you know just put something on the TV to watch I always sleep with the TV on I have to have noise in the background um, so yeah I always sleep with the TV on um, yeah so you know, I'll, I'll not stitch or anything. I will just put the TV on and let it play in the background. I turn over so I'm not even looking at the TV, just listening. And even then, I mean, I can fall asleep, but I don't stay asleep. You know, sort of two, three hours and that's it. I'm wide awake and I'm done. So I don't know which is worse. I have no idea. But then, you know, during the day, obviously, I'm really tired. So, yeah. And for some reason, I'm, I, it's very rare I get hungry for breakfast or lunch, to be honest. It's not very often I eat either. Um, usually, I just have, you know, um, my evening meal um, but for some reason today I am feeling quite hungry so um, yeah I may have to make something before I cook the tea I hope everybody had a a nice weekend and you know got up to some fun stuff and you know if you went anywhere you enjoyed yourselves uh, it's just pretty pretty bog standard weekend for us here folks I'm afraid nothing much to report <laughs> apart from lots of stitching but that's nothing new there's always lots of stitching going on. So. Don't know what I'm going to cook for tea tonight. I'll have to have a look in the freezer and see what's there. See what the children fancy. Although, to be fair, uh, when I say, you know, what do you fancy for tea, uh, anything is usually the answer. You know, one of these days I'm going to give them a glass of water and a piece of bread and butter for the tea as a joke and see what they say. And if they say anything, just say, well, you did say I could give you anything for tea. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit of a joker when it, when it comes to my kids. I like playing jokes on them.
But then sometimes my jokes don't catch on because they do know what I'm like. So, yeah, but it is funny. I enjoy winding them up. So no, no packages have come through yet, but uh, I'm sure in the next sort of 10 days or so, um, you know, all four of the packages that I'm waiting on should be here, all close to. So yeah, we'll see. It manages to make its way here first. There's um, a few of the kits that I've ordered. I can't wait to show you guys because I think you're going to love them. You're going to absolutely love them. I mean, like I say, I do. I do choose things that I like. But I also try and choose, um, for the most part, new kits, so you get to see them. Um, so, yeah, but there are a few. I mean, there's one, um, I was telling the kids yesterday, there's one that I've ordered, um, and this is a bought one. Um one that I've ordered that my daughter is going to absolutely love so I showed her a picture of that and she does she loves it <clears throat> um, and there's one that my son <clears throat> sorry my son is going to absolutely love I showed him that and yeah there was a big smile on his face so I'm guessing that's where those will be going when I've completed them And there is one coming that I think is going to make quite a few of you go, oh, wow. Yeah. Not giving you any more information than that, folks. That's all I'm telling you. But uh, I do. I know of one person in particular that is definitely going to have that reaction. Definitely. Um, so yeah but we'll see when they'll get here you'll get to see them all one way or another yeah there's um, I'm quite excited to, to get these Oh, my belly's rumbling. See, I told you guys I was hungry. I'm not normally hungry this time of the day, but today I am. The doggos are lying in various places across the lounge. Having a snooze. Um, another hour and my son will be back from school. He has had an English exam this morning. First period. Uh, shocking. First period on a Monday morning is an exam, an English exam. Shocking. So we'll see how he how he feels he's done on that. Um, I believe the exam is on Macbeth because they've been working on Macbeth, Macbeth in English. So I believe that's what the exam has been on this morning as well. So yeah, we'll see how he feels about it when he gets home. But uh, he's. He's a clever lad, so, you know, 
and I've told him I will always be proud of him as long as he has tried his best. That's all I ask for. You know, you don't slack your schoolwork. You always try your best and then, you know, how I can't ask any more of him than his best. So, but yeah. He breaks up on the 21st of July for six weeks. I cannot wait. I love having him at home. You know, there's a lot of parents that are like, oh, I can't wait to get my kids back at school. I, I, I love having him at home. I do. You know, I love having both my kids here at the same time. It's it's great, you know, the three of us. I mean, although we don't we don't spend a great deal of time together, you know, it's just knowing that everybody that should be here is here. You know, I guess that's like um, a bit of a a mama bear type um, way to think. Um, but yeah, I, I do. I love having him at home. I love it. I count down, you know, when he goes back to school and that I... Sorry. Oh, I'm counting down the days to when his next holiday off school is. So, yeah. Right, so we have um, added in um, this pink... Um, across here. That's what I've added in. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Um, that was actually my delivery man that brings my parcels from wherever I order them from. So I just have received a parcel. So we get to do a review today as well, folks. So, um, yeah, you get two videos today. I have no idea who this is from. I've literally just taken it off the guy and come in the house. Um, so, I will. Hang on, I'm just trying to get... What I try to do is where your key is here, if you have a needle left with some thread on it, um, I tend to... Where is it? There we go. I tend to put my needle uh, to rest in that symbol so then I know that that is the symbol that that thread goes to. Um, so yeah, that's that's how I work that. Um, so yeah, right. Um, let's put that up there. Right, so... Um, yeah thank you very much for watching folks um totally appreciate all of you as you all know um so yeah um if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing uh and if you think of anybody that might also enjoy these videos then please share um so yeah that was jolly july day 10 uh, I'll carry on working on Christmas House until tomorrow and we'll spin again and we'll see what we're going to be working on tomorrow. Uh, okay, folks, I'm off to do my review. Um, so you'll have another video very shortly. Okie dokie. So until tomorrow, please take care of yourselves and each other. Bye bye.